the single best Qigong exercise for healing your eyes, that is going to be the topic of this episode of Qi Life. So this is what I'm going to do in the video. First I'm just going to show you the exercise, then I'm going to talk about it and explain it a little bit, and then I'm going to talk a bit more widely about healing your eyes with Qigong. So this is how we start. First, just rub your hands together. And you want to rub them long enough and briskly enough that your hands become warm. So do that as long as you need to. Next we're going to clap, ideally at random intervals, until our hands become tingly. Again you can do more or less of this to feel the energy in your hands. Then we're going to bring our hands quite close together. And with all that stimulation from the rubbing and clapping, there's a good chance you're going to be able to feel a little something between your hands. And as you move your hands closer together and further apart, you might be able to feel those sensations of energy. You might feel warmth. You might also feel like a soft, squishy feeling, like a magnetic feeling between your hands. You might feel some other sensations as well. So we're just going to spend a few moments tuning into that energy, feeling that energy flow between our hands. We can also move our hands as if we're rolling our hands around a ball, feeling that energy radiating out from our hands between our hands. Good. So next, quite simply, we're going to place our hands over our eyes. So if you were standing up, you would do this simply by placing the palms over the eyes and covering them completely so that you shut out all the light, you can then open your eyes underneath the palms of your hands. If you're able to, if you're sitting down, you want to bend forwards. Now if there was a table in front of you, you would just put your elbows on the table so you can relax onto there. I don't have a table, but I can bend forwards and put my elbows on my knees and now just relax and let all of the weight of your head go into your hands and just sit there nice and relaxed for a minute or two letting the energy from the palms of your hands go into your eyes and then when you sit up close your eyes before you take your palms off and then gently open them and blink a few times to finish All right, so that is, um, that is the very simple exercise. Now, of course, uh, <laughs> I'm wearing sunglasses today because it's pretty bright out here, so always take sensible, sensible precautions with your eyes to take care of them. But this is something that you can do if you do have some issues with your eyes and you're wanting to heal those issues or to keep them healthy and strong. This is a super, super, super simple exercise, but it really is the single best exercise for healing your eyes. Quite simply what we're doing is we're stimulating the energy to the palms of our hands. When we rub, we stimulate the activity in the cells and we stimulate the flow of blood down to our hands. This brings the energy down there as the cells become active. When we clap, we specifically make the nerves very active when we get our hands tingling. So all that nerve activity and energy becomes active as well. This combination brings our energy flowing to our hands. That's why we can feel it between our hands when we do these sorts of movements. Now, if you didn't feel that straight away, you couldn't feel some energy, that's fine. It's an indication of a couple of things, of how relaxed you are, because the more relaxed you are, the easier the energy flows, and also just generally how healthy and strong the flow of energy is within you. So you might find it useful to do some other Qigong practices first before you even do this one to get the energy flowing, to get yourself nice and relaxed. So I'm gonna put a link, I'm gonna try using a card I'm going to try and put it up here in the video. Um, if that doesn't work, there'll be a link in the description below of, uh, I think I'll put a link to the five waves practice. So it's super, super simple, but it gets your whole body moving and that's going to help you relax and it's going to make it easier for you to send the energy to your hands and get a strong energy flow there. 
So once we've got this nice strong energy flow uh, going between our hands, quite simply we're going to direct that energy into our eyes. And what's going to happen, that energy as it radiates in, it's going to penetrate the tissues of the eyes themselves to increase the activity there. If there's any waste there or anything like that, it's going to help to break them up and help them move through. It's going to improve the flow of blood into all the areas of the eyes. If there's anything that needs to be repaired, it's going to activate the nerves. It's going to help to relax all the little muscles around the eyes that help to keep it functioning properly and make it focus properly and all those sorts of things. So it really can help with any kind of eye problem it can help to heal it or help to maintain health in your eyes super super simple but it is the number one best exercise to do and sometimes people don't think to do this um, they they look for something complicated to do but just doing this regularly you can do it you know at least once a day but you can do it three times a day five times a day turn your body's own healing energy its own resources inwards and focus them in the area where you want to bring the activity where you want things to relax and improve and to heal of course we can use this principle this very simple principle of activating energy on lots of other parts of our body as well but our focus today is on the eyes so we'll talk a little bit more widely about that there are a lot of different things that can affect the eyes. Of course the, the flow of blood is a big thing, the tension in the muscles around the eyes is another big thing and related to that there's other things in the body that affect the quality of the blood and the flow of blood to the eyes, the activity of the nerves and so on. And so looking more broadly at working with the eyes there are other exercises we can do as well. Often our general qigong practice will have a really healthy effect on the eyes because we're helping to get the energy moving through the whole body and so this supports the eyes as well. But there are other things such as massaging different points and areas around the eyes, um, particularly things that loosen the neck and uh, activate the, the, um, the flow of energy through there by relaxing the nerves so that the energy can get through to the eyes well as well are really useful. There are a number of different practices. I don't I'm not going to go into them all in this video because there's too much uh, really to go into. We'll leave it with just the one exercise for now. Um, but it's likely at some point in the future I will put together a full course um, on the Long White Cloud Qigong website about different exercises for the eyes if that's something that you're interested in. So maybe that's something you can look out for. If you want to go on to the longwhitecloudqigong.com website you can sign up for our newsletter and you'll get any information about new courses that are coming out uh, and and on topics you might be interested in. There are a bunch of things on there already, a whole lot of courses that we go into, quite a lot of detail, quite a lot of depth and understanding how they work. Um, and so you might be interested in those and again you might be interested in others as they come up. Okay, I hope you have liked this vlog. I hope you've found some things in here that are useful for you. Uh, if so, please like, comment, subscribe, share, all those good things um, so other people can benefit from it as well.